Hi, today we are going to talk about the sensors we have in Krita. If we want to create good brushes, we need to understand this. It will be around 15 minutes, you will learn a lot of things. Are you ready? Let's go! So, we are going to take this as a reference, the basic to opacity, as usual, and I'm going to increase this value to 100. Now we can see we have a super impressive brush stroke. What can we do with this? Because we need to understand how this works. I'm going to reduce this to 50%. Then going to put this at default. As you can see, the less pressure is a small size and the high pressure, it creates a bigger size. Okay, so if I make a brush stroke like this, you can see the effect. The good thing about Krita is that it can reverse the effect applying the curve in the inverse direction. So now, if I apply pressure, I get this smaller size. This is a problem that can happen, so don't worry because there is another sensor that can solve this really easy. Pressure in takes into account the highest level of pressure you apply and then keep that level even if you apply less pressure. Right now we are applying this and now I am applying less pressure and you see how it's the same but if I apply more pressure I continuously reduce it and at the end you don't have this effect. If I want to use X tilt, Y tilt, tilt direction and tilt elevation, I need to have a tablet that supports the tilt feature. To see better the behavior of the tilt direction, we need to use the ratio in a smaller size like this one and activate the rotation because we're going to modify the rotation by the tilt direction. So I activate it and disable the pressure because I'm not going to use it. And now you can see how I, my stylus is in this position. For me, it's more usable to left this in the outer brushes in 90 degrees. And that way I can handle like this and I have tilted brushes, I have vertical brushes, and I have flat brushes. If I select a brush like this, which is, has this type of random shape, if I activate the rotation, and activate the tilt direction, now I have something like this. And why? Everybody has a personal hand rotation, so once you have done something like this, you go to the brush tip, and then I personally use 255, and now I have the same default position that the brush tip has without a rotation. So I can rotate both sides, but I have the same spots what I want to have them. This brush, the Pencil 5 Tilted, is really good to understand better the tilt elevation and tilt direction. Why? Because we control the size by the tilt elevation, so if the pencil is almost in horizontal position, you can see something like this, and if I tilt the stylus, it can create a smaller brush strokes. And also, I can control my rotation with the tilt direction, and I can create strokes like this or I can create stroke in this position I can vary my angle in whatever position I want and normally in the size I use a trick that you can see for example in the charcoal brushes let me show you as you can see this brush from the charcoal KA has a weird curve that controls the size by the tilt elevation so if I make something like in zero degrees I have this and if I tilt the brush, I can get this kind of brush stroke. I can control with this curve how the creases and also have this latest node that controls how much size the mouse will achieve because I can use this also with mouse. I designed the brush to be usable for tilt and not tilt and even mouse users. Another use of the tilt elevation is to control how much flow you have in a brush stroke because as you can see here is a soft flow and I am increasing as I am elevating the stylus. In this position is much faster to achieve darker color. And again I can use it with my mouse and I get at least a textured brush. And remember you can convert any brush from the tilt behavior to drawing angle behavior. I go here, activate tilt direction, 
remove the drawing angle and then I can now control my brush strokes like this and I can reverse just activate drawing angle deactivate tilt direction and now my brush has changed to analyze the speed sensor we have to take into account that not all the tablets are the same and you can get different results depending on your device you need to calibrate a bit your your device how to do that by default i go here and i reverse the curve and i create the maximum speed that i can achieve in my brush stroke normally when i draw in maybe this or this i could use this and you will see how it how it get more reduction but if this doesn't achieve the reduction i want and i want to keep the curve as linear I can go to the settings, configure Krita, and reduce the maximum brush speed. Half of the value that I had before. You can see now the reduction is much bigger than, than before. So if I reduce, I can get more extreme effects. So don't forget that the speed is related to your device. You can configure with this graph and also in the general settings that apply all the speed brushes you have in Krita. Imagine you have a brush like this and you decrease the ratio and then change the ratio and you get this and create the brush tool like this and I rotate but the brush tip is not rotating with the brush stroke. How can I achieve that? If I go to rotation I can activate the drawing angle, remove the pressure. Now I am testing and the brush tip is rotating with my brush stroke. And now let me show you an interesting trick because maybe you have a brush like this which is horizontal brush and you want to keep that angle because maybe you use without a uh, rotation to create flat brush strokes very useful for architecture for example activate the rotation and you can see that now if i activate the drawing angle and remove the pressure i have something like this krita is aware of that so has provided you this impressive effect which is the angle offset i use a lot on my laptop where i don't use tilt and you can see right now we can have the drawing angle and if i remove the rotation i have my flat brush and you can see a default brush in krita that is using this default you can see how the brush stroke follows the brush tip in the direction you are moving the brush stroke you can see that if i change the direction during the brush stroke, the brush tip is rotating with the brush stroke it's because I'm following the drawing angle. Unfortunately, I can test the rotation sensor because my stylus doesn't support rotation. But if you have the sensor available, <laughs> I can I can bet that it can be incredible. What can we do with distance? As you may guess, if I put this 250 pixels and I use the rulers that you have here, so rulers. Then I go to the view log guides to create a brush stroke just right here and create with the V key and the shift while I'm using it. So Krita is respecting the distance that you have assigned here. But imagine you want a different curve like this, for example. So if I make with the V key, I can create a line the same point and you can see it's different if i activate this sensor you can see that i have this repeat button and automatically you see that kind of behavior you are telling krita what value do you want to apply for repetition if i reduce this you can see pressing the shift as i'm reducing the length you can see that i have this kind of weird behavior one of the things that uh, we can do is just create a digital behavior like this and then we just increase this value and reduce the size because we are telling Krita that we have a uh, opaque and transparent repeating across all the brush strokes. I put in the time sensor one second to show you what is the behavior because if I use like this you can see I am repeating the opacity changes. Now I'm using the opacity instead of size. As you can see, I use the time to 
create the effect that I am losing pigment during the brush stroke. So I go here to the opacity and you see the time is decreasing during three seconds. So you can put this to one and now the loss of pigment is faster. One interesting thing about this process that controls the opacity based on time is that we can use this graph to control if we want a faster effect or a slower effect and the curve to control if we want faster at the beginning or and slower at the end or the opposite. This is one of my favorite sensors is the Fusi Dav and Fusi Stroke. And why? Because they add random effect to the option you want to use. So you can randomize the size, randomize the opacity, randomize the flow and randomize wherever you want. And I love it. I love it. It's one of my favorites. I talk more about the Fusi Dav in the scatter section. But very easy, very fast. If we activate with the Fusi Dev, you can see how we have different sizes during the brush stroke. If I activate the Fusi Stroke, you will see a difference because I can create this and this and this, and they have different size in the general stroke, but not in individual depths that compounds the brush stroke. And if we combine both together, we can see that we have something like this, totally random effect. If we activate the fade sensor, something interesting appears in the brush stroke because you can see how the final size is 200 pixels, but the size appearing in the preview is really small. So what we are doing here, to understand it better, we put this into five, and now let's see what happens. We're using a spacing of one to see this much better. And we'll go to the size and let's see. One, two, three, four, five, and now repeats. So it takes five dabs to arrive to the final result. And that's it. This can be useful because you can control the result by the amount of dabs. If we want to use the perspective sensor, we need the perspective assistant. So we go to the assistant and create a perspective. It's four points. So you create something like this. We activate again the brush and create something like this. As you can see, the perspective is decreasing the size too much towards the vanishing point. So if we want to see this not so extreme, we can trick it, go to the far and reduce it to the 50 or 25% and you will see the difference. We are reducing this to this, but it's not so extreme at your taste. And remember, we can use also the snap to assistance to create this kind of effect. I think there are a small amount of devices that support the tangential pressure. So if you're one of those users, congratulations. And please share your feedback in the comments and then we can understand much better the experience. That's all for now. I hope this video helps you to understand better the sensors that allow you to create impressive brushes. And stay tuned because the next video will be about options and with good examples to get the best of the general option. If you like this kind of content, please support Krita and I will be making more videos like this. Thanks for watching. Bye.